What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today I have for you guys a first look at the Real Steel RB5, also known as the Real Steel Barlow. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciate it everyone. Feel free to let me know what you are carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. So let's get started with this guy. And we have some customizable goodies for you guys also coming up on this guy so let's take a look at this thing we have g10 handles we have a deep deep carry pocket clip here wire pocket clip it's got pretty good retention and it's also going to be reversible for left hand carry and also removable so that way if you don't want the clip you can take it off and it's not going to bother the aesthetic of this knife we have nice tight tolerances perfectly centered up we have a short pull on both sides we have good walk and talk. I would say about a six and a half on the walk and talk, meaning it's not overly strong, but it's not overly weak either. I would say, you know, it's good. This would be great for, you know, a first time slip joint owner, uh, someone who has very fatigued hands, if you will, or someone who just doesn't have quite the grip that they used to. I know some of these newer uh, modern slip joints that are coming out, although very satisfying, uh, I could see where some of them could be trouble for someone who may have lost, uh, you know, that love and feel feeling that they once had in their hands. So all in all, I would say it's pretty good, guys. We can see it there, pull it down. Now, instead of a half stop, it's more of like a 60 stop, if you will. Um, and I think that's done by, it's, it's done by design. And I believe uh, it's a safety measure. Uh, that way, instead of it stopping here, it gives you that little bit extra comfort. Uh, you know, if it were to close, it's closing at 60 instead of, you know, 50. So you have to let me know if that bothers you. It doesn't bother me as long as the spring and everything is nice and, you know, everything feels good in there, which in this case, it feels good. Uh, it's very pleasing to use this knife uh, open and close so let's move on to the blade here we have a satin finished this is a very modified looking blade guys it's kind of a drop point kind of a clip point uh, it's a very low clip point style blade going to be very useful with that tip, uh, you have a decent straight edge here to that little tiny tiny bit of belly. And then you have this nice pokey tip here. It's got a nice satin finish on it, uh, kind of a belt satin finish. And then we're going to be getting N690 on the steel. Now hold your horses, guys. Hold on, right? Okay, so let's put this in perspective. Do you know what the toughness of N690 is related, relatable to. So here, 20 CV, an M390 and 204P, it is the exact same as those, okay? How about the edge retention? Well, it's got the same exact edge retention as CPM 154 does, okay? So people who knock N690, you know, although it's not a super steel, it's it's not the best at any one thing, uh, people who knock it most likely have no idea what its characteristics are. One thing it does have really going for it is its corrosion resistance is very, very good. And it's also very easy to put an edge back on it as well. Now, it's not going to hold an edge the longest and it's not going to be the toughest steel. Uh, but, you know, in this knife right here, this it's not meant to be, you know, extraordinarily tough or anything like that. This is meant to be your light duty, you know, day to day kind of cutter, right? Uh, very light duty tasks with this guy, 
it is a slip joint after all. And these are going to come in at a very affordable price as well. And on top of that affordable price, down in the description, just like we've done with the last couple of real steals, I will have a link to this knife and I should also have a coupon code for you guys as well given to me for my viewers uh, for this knife which is awesome from Real Steel. So if this is something that looks interesting to you, you know, you want to pick up a new slip joint, you want to pick up a new knife, uh, whatever it might be, uh, you should be able to pick this up very easily and input that code and get a little bit of savings on this guy. Now, we have some customization that we can do to this guy as well. Real Steel really has something with this little affordable slip joint. Uh, the pocket clip idea is brilliant. So, you know, it's this is a very traditional style knife with a lot of modern uh, ideals. So the the wire pocket clip, I think, is a great idea for the people who may love or want a slip joint, but not having a pocket clip is a deal breaker to some people. But if you like modern slip joints, but you definitely don't want a pocket clip on it, well, they make it very easy to take this guy off. I believe it's a matter of popping that screw out, if that, and then just pulling this out. I haven't messed with that part yet. It might even be just squeezing it and pulling it out. If you are left-handed and you want a slip joint, but you would really like it to have a clip, you can do that. And then as I said, you can take this guy off, use it as a pocket dropper, uh, throw it in a fifth pocket, throw it in a slip, you know, however you and your little heart desire to carry this thing, you'll be able to do it. But now what's really cool is they have a multitude of aftermarket scales, guys, that can easily, it shouldn't, I haven't done it yet. We're going to do a separate video on this. Uh, I, I don't want to get into it in this video. This is just more about the knife. Uh, and then we'll do kind of a disassembly quote unquote and you know for the people who are really interested we'll show you know the switching of the scales but it should be just a matter of popping both the torx bits out or the torx head screws out and then popping these guys right on now the way this works is or at least the way i think this works is the scale it has these little rails and ridges and you can see there, it's recessed when it gets up into here. So I believe that just slides over top of maybe like a lot. It slides over top of something which locks it in. And then you screw it down and then you have a nice solid uh, handle there. So going to be very easy, I have to believe, to switch the handles out. So they have black like we see here. They have red, which I think is what I'm going to go with. If I didn't keep it black, I think I'm going to go with the red. That would look awesome with the satin blade and the satin hardware. But we don't have to stop there. What we also have is a set of purple here. So if you really like purple, uh, if you are a female and you want to throw your own splash on a slip joint. You can do that here with some purple. They also have some orange. We also have some FDE or some coyote tan, basically brown or tan. Then we also have a set of jade here. So if you wanna dye it whatever color you want, or if you really like jade, uh, you can go with a set of those. And they also have a set of gray. Uh, I, I was kind of torn between the tan, the red, and the gray. And luckily, I can do whichever I really want at this point. Uh, I'll probably go with the red to start. And then we'll just kind of see you know, how things play out. I like red. Uh, I like the Mars Valley uh fat carbon fiber so it would go good with some of those knives that i have there but the idea is it's a very inexpensive slip joint that is finely made it's you know 
All things considered, I think it's a well-made slip joint. Uh, and I think it's got decent materials too. The N690 is all right, adequate. Uh, G10, uh, the fit and finish of this thing is very nice. There's nothing, you know, sticking out, poking out. There's no rough or uneven edges. Uh, all up along the spine into the spine of the blade there. Everything is nicely finished on these. Uh, I have not found a single thing that, you know, has gave me a pause for concern, if you will. Uh, I really like the idea behind this slip joint. I think it's a decent size. It also has, it also came and has a hell of an edge on it. Or what I mean to say is it came with and has a hell of an edge on it. It's nice and thin uh, behind that edge. And like I said earlier in the video, guys, this is not meant to be, you know, a hard use. It's not meant to be like your your typical real steels. Uh, I would say that real steel makes knives typically that are meant for harder use, like, you know, your Pathfinder, uh, your Sacra, you know, knives like that. Those knives are meant to use and abuse, where this is meant more, you know, towards your, your everyday lightweight slicer. Uh, type of a deal, you know, especially as it sits as a slip joint. Uh, I think they did a, an awesome job with this and, and they're kind of aiming this at a wide variety of people. Uh, you know, if you, like I said earlier, guys, if you want to get into slip joints and you like the traditional idea, but most slip joints don't have a pocket clip and you want that, you know, this will have it. Uh, if you're lefty, you can carry it lefty, or you can just remove the pocket clip altogether and carry it like an old traditional slip joint, going to fit in a multitude of different smaller style slips. Uh, you know, pick your poison with that, and the option to throw any type of color scales you want on it, I think is a great idea on their part. Like I said, double check down in the description. I will have links for this and the scales and a coupon code for at least the knife. I don't know if the scales will be involved with that coupon code, but the knife definitely will be. You'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think of this guy and its customized customizability, if you will. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you are new here. I would love to have you here. We release videos every single day, sometimes twice a day. Would love to have you. Otherwise, guys, I hope you have an awesome day, and I will catch you on the next one.